This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C, they're sitting at a table, is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, he's hanging up a shirt. B, he's sweeping a floor. C, He's fixing a light. D. He's holding some clothes. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. She's putting paper in a copy machine. B. She's wiping the outside of a file cabinet. C. She's stapling some documents together. D. She's closing the door to an office. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The woman is sawing some wood. B. The woman is lifting a box. C. The man is using a hammer. D. The man is organizing a toolbox. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. A man is standing in front of a group. B. A man is reaching into a bag. C. Some people are entering a building. D. Some people are getting onto a bus. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. She's setting a glass bottle on a shelf. B. She's pressing a button on a device. C. She's removing her safety gloves. D. She's taking a lab coat off of a hook. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A banner is suspended from a window. B. An umbrella has been opened to provide shade. C. Some potted plants have been placed in a courtyard. D. Some leaves have fallen on a walkway. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. 
When does the shop close? A. Yes, at the workshop. B. No, they're new clothes. C. At nine o'clock tonight. Number eight. Who's scheduled to clean the kitchen? A. By the sink. B. Yes, every day. C. Jack is. Number nine. How will we get to the hotel from the airport? A. We'll take a taxi. B. About forty-five minutes. C. Will that be everything? Number ten. Is Teresa out of the office today? A. Those tickets are sold out. B. No, she's just gone to lunch. C. I completed that yesterday. Number eleven. Which food supplier do you use? A. In the vegetable aisle. B. On a weekly basis. C. We use E and G Food Company. Number twelve. Could you help me set up this window display? A. A window seat. B. Yes, I was in a play. C. I'd be happy to. Number thirteen. Why is this package here? A. Three dollars and fifty cents. B. I'll carry it upstairs. C. An online retailer. Number fourteen. Which menu item do you recommend? A. I'd suggest the pasta. B. Do you have this shirt in blue? C. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Number fifteen. Do you know who requested technical support? A. Sorry, I just got into the office. B. The sports team is doing well. C. Two years of technical school. Number sixteen. Where does Takumi keep the ink cartridges for the printer? A. Yes, that'd be great. B. To get it replaced. C. In the supply room. Number seventeen. Ali is going to Jessica's retirement party, isn't he? A. I don't think they worked together. B. Brand new tires. C. No thanks. I already ate. Number eighteen. Why don't you go to the trade show with Franklin and Jane? A. No, I didn't see it. B. Because I have a major report to finalize that week. C. Usually in San Francisco. Number nineteen. When are we ordering more gloves for the laboratory? A. The latest test results. B. It's close to the post office. C. We've got extras in the cabinet. Number twenty. Doesn't this movie theater seat five hundred people? A. Tickets are fifteen dollars. B. Not quite that many. No. C. We should be finished soon. Number twenty-one. Would you like to make an appointment with a nutritionist? A. A client luncheon. B. I'm scheduled for the fourteenth. C. The fruit is on the table. Number twenty-two. Did you know that the Vienna Orchestra is giving a concert here soon? 
A. No, where will it be? B. Classical literature. C. The opening piece was great. Number 23. What's the marketing department working on? A. I'm on the accounting team. B. That was a good commercial. C. To the second floor. Number 24. Isn't it hot in here? A. A hat and scarf. B. For a quick phone call. C. The air conditioner's behind me. Number 25. Do you want to drive to the convention center or would you like me to? A. That's all we needed. B. The first entrance on the left. C. I can drive since you did last time. Number 26. Could you pick up some more paper for the printer? A. Alan said that he would. B. No, I haven't seen it. C. A technician. Number 27. I'm about to order lunch now if you're hungry. A. Next to the telephone. B. Bus number 5. C. Can I see the menu? Number 28. Where's the camera on this computer? A. No, I don't think so. B. Email it by tomorrow, please. C. On the top edge of the monitor. Number 29. The conference is in Helsinki this year, isn't it? A. Here's the itinerary. B. About 5,000 participants. C. I was supposed to call him. Number 30. Should I schedule the inspection for Monday or Wednesday? A. Yes, I'll have a few. B. Mondays are less busy. C. Please inspect these boxes. Number 31. Let's talk about how the business trip went. A. We have a client meeting right now. B. The travel agency. C. I saw it last week. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. I just got a call from Mr. Benson, the owner at 488 Oak Street, where we're doing that big interior renovation. He was a little upset. He says the wrong colour countertop has been installed in his kitchen. That's strange. I placed the order for that countertop myself. It was white marble, if I remember correctly. I'd better order a replacement immediately. OK. I'll call Mr. Benson back and let him know we're ordering him a new one right away. Number 32. Who is Mr. Benson? Number 33. Why did Mr. Benson call? Number 34. What does the woman say she will do?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Lucia. I think we're almost ready for the cooking class tomorrow. We have a lot of people signed up, even though it's the first one we've held here at the store. I know. I really hope this will help boost our sales. The chef teaching the class will be using a lot of the equipment we sell here in the store, so hopefully the students will buy it to use at home. Yes, you're right. Oh, that reminds me. We got a shipment of new cookware this morning. I'll go put everything on the shelves now. Number 35. What is taking place tomorrow? Number 36. What does the woman hope will happen? Number 37. What does the man say he will do next? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Dave, have you had a chance to meet Yan Mei Lee, the new head of marketing, yet? No, I haven't had time. I was busy with the launch of our new smartphone last week. Have you met her? Yeah, she seems very approachable. Her last job was with a computer manufacturer, so I think she's a really good fit for the company. So, how did the new product launch go? Really well. We started in Europe, and we'll expand to North America. I'm actually going there next week. Number 38. According to the speakers, what happened last week? Number 39. What industry do the speakers work in? Number 40. What will the man do next week? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Jin Sung. Oh, I was wondering, have you noticed how cold it's been here in the coffee shop lately? Actually, yes. I wonder if it's because the side door hasn't been closing properly. That door should close automatically. Maybe a hinge is broken or needs to be adjusted. Well, I'm really concerned about the temperature. Our customers don't want to sit in a cold coffee shop. I'll try to get a repair person to come and fix it today. Actually, you don't need to call. I used to work at a hardware store. Number 41. Where do the speakers work? Number 42. Why is the woman concerned? Number 43. What does the man imply when he says, I used to work at a hardware store. Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi. I saw an advertisement for the Pick Easy camera in today's newspaper, but the price shown on the display here in your store is different than what was listed in the ad. Oh, OK. My manager here can help you. Mr. Jensen? Sure. Sorry about the confusion. That camera just went on sale today, and we haven't changed the price on our display yet. Oh, that's good to hear. I'd like to buy it then. Great. And that camera comes with a two-year warranty. But for another $25, you can extend it to five years. Would you like to do that? Number 44. What product are the speakers discussing? Number 45. What problem does the woman mention? Number 46. 
What does the manager offer the woman? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Okay, I've finished examining your teeth. Everything looks healthy. Do you have any concerns? Yes, actually. It's nothing serious, but sometimes my teeth hurt a little when I brush them. Maybe you're brushing too hard, or you're using the wrong type of toothbrush. I have a pamphlet about that. Um, here you go. This has some useful recommendations. Thanks, I'll read it. And by the way, I recently moved, so I need to update my patient file. Okay. Please give your new address to our receptionist on your way out. Number 47. Where does the conversation most likely take place? Number 48. What does the man give to the woman? Number 49. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Charlie. This is Cora from Thomasville Marketing. We're impressed with your qualifications, and we'd like to offer you the position at our Chicago office. Thank you. That's exciting news. Moving to Chicago would be a big decision for me, though, so I'll need to think about it. Well, we'd really like to fill the position this week. OK, I understand. If you accept the position, we'd like you to come to Chicago soon to meet the team you'd be working with. And, of course, Thomasville Marketing always pays for business-related air travel and taxi expenses. Number 50. What type of business does the woman work for? Number 51. What does the woman mean when she says, We'd really like to fill the position this week. Number 52. According to the woman, what does the company always pay for? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Kamiko, what are you posting on the notice board? Hi, Amelia. I'm organizing a company team for a charity event next weekend. It's a 10-kilometer run through the city. The money raised will be used for a neighborhood playground. Sounds good. By the way, I usually run with some of our colleagues during lunch. I'll talk to them tomorrow about joining the team. Great. Thanks, Amelia. We need 10 people to make a full team. Hey, there's Martin. He likes running, too. Martin, want to join our team? We're participating in a 10-kilometer run for charity. It's next weekend. Next weekend? I wish I could, but I'll be in Washington for a conference then. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly talking about? Number 54. What does Amelia offer to do tomorrow? Number 55. Why will the man be in Washington? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. John, a customer is looking for this winter boot in a size 10. Could you find that for me, please? Actually, I'm just finishing my shift now. I'd really appreciate it if you could get this one last thing before you go. Okay, sure. Oh, last time I was in the stockroom, I noticed that we've sold out of a lot of sizes in this style. I'll go look, but it might be a good idea to ask the customer if she'd be interested in a different style. 
Number 56. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 57. Why does the man decline the woman's request at first? Number 58. What does the man say about an item? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Sorensen, it's Tony Reed calling from eEnergy Insight. I appreciate having the opportunity to tell you about our energy management software. Sure. As the manager of a large bank, I know that our energy bills are quite substantial. We're always looking for ways to cut energy costs. Well, our software automatically controls the lighting, heating, and cooling of multiple rooms, as well as the energy needed for operating machines. It redirects the energy where it's needed so that there's no waste. Interesting. Would it be possible for you to give us a demonstration of how it all works? Number 59. Why is the man calling? Number 60. What does the woman say she is interested in? Number 61. What does the woman request? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Thanks for calling the Forrester Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm arranging the annual awards banquet for my company. I checked your website. Can I reserve the Rose Hall for May 15th? Let me check the schedule. I'm afraid the Rose Hall's unavailable that day. The Sunflower Hall is available. It's $50 more expensive than the Rose Hall, but it's larger. Hmm, that's okay. The Sunflower Hall should be fine. I also had a question about food for the dinner. Can you recommend a good caterer? Oh, I'd recommend Sammy's Catering. It's popular because of the variety of vegetarian options they offer. Number 62. What event is the man calling about? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much will the man's reservation cost? Number 64. According to the woman, why is a catering business popular? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and bar graph. Michelle, thanks for agreeing to lead this afternoon's meeting with me. One topic I think we should discuss with the staff is factory productivity. We haven't met our quotas for light bulbs for a few months. I know. Productivity hasn't been stable recently. We had a month of strong production, but the next month was the lowest we've had in a year. Right. So at today's meeting, let's focus on the month when productivity was very low. I know that our bulb manufacturing machines broke down several times that month. We should probably have all of them inspected. I agree. What else should we discuss at the staff meeting? Number 65. What will the speakers do this afternoon? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which month do the speakers agree to discuss? Number 67. What does the woman suggest doing?
Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. Hi, Corey. I wanted to talk to you about the way we currently conduct hiring for the firm. I was thinking that we could reduce our workload in the Human Resources Department by reducing the number of steps in the hiring process. Well, we have to be sure we hire the right people. We can't eliminate the phone call. That's the best way to decide who we should bring in for interviews. But we could stop doing a group interview. I agree. Honestly, those haven't provided much information about job candidates in the past. Good point. Okay. Let's work on a presentation to show Mr. Kobayashi our idea. All right. Number 68. According to the woman, what is the benefit of changing a process? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which step do the speakers agree should be removed? Number 70. What will the speakers do next? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following broadcast. In local news, residents have long awaited the grand opening of the River City Zoo this Saturday. For this special grand opening event, hours will be extended until 8 p.m. And the zoo will also be having a photo contest during the event. Be sure to take photos while you walk through the exhibits to submit for the contest. To read the contest rules and regulations, visit the zoo's website. Number 71. What event is the speaker mainly talking about? Number 72. What are the listeners encouraged to do during the event? Number 73. What can the listeners find on a website? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Attention passengers flying to Dublin. Since this flight is fully booked and luggage space will be limited, you may check extra bags for free. If you'd like to check your luggage to your final destination at no extra charge, you can speak to an airline representative at the gate desk. We'll begin boarding soon, so please check your ticket for your seat assignment. Thank you for flying with us. Number 74. Where most likely does this announcement take place? Number 75. According to the speaker, what can the listeners do for free? Number 76. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Glad to see everyone's back on the bus. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour of Rosedale so far. City Hall is one of my favourite stops. You may not have heard me say it, but our City Hall is notable as the biggest government building in the nation. In a few minutes, we'll arrive at Carpton Market. It has some of the city's best local food. You'll have time to explore the market on your own, but the bus leaves at 3pm. I'll be walking around too, 
So join me if you'd like to hear more about the market. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. According to the speaker, what is special about Rosedale City Hall? Number 79. Why does the speaker say, The bus leaves at 3 p.m.? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Recently, we conducted a market survey about our new phone application called Mini Market. Well, we found that people of all ages like the idea of using their mobile phones to order groceries. However, there has been one consistent complaint about the app. According to users, the process for ordering groceries with this app is too complicated. So we invited Lupe Gonzalez here to present some ideas. She's a technology consultant who has designed similar apps before. Number 80. What is the purpose of the meeting? Number 81. What is the main complaint about a phone application? Number 82. What will happen next? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Before you start this evening's shift, I'd like to make a quick announcement. As you know, We've had a very successful two months since our restaurant opened. But of course, that means you've all been working some very long days and serving many customers at once. Now, we'd originally planned to have only six waiters on our staff. But our business is increasing. We'll be working to remedy the situation. In the meantime, to thank you for your hard work, we've arranged to get you all some complimentary tickets to the upcoming music festival. Enjoy the event. Number 83. Where do the listeners work? Number 84. What does the speaker imply when she says, Our business is increasing. Number 85. What does the speaker offer the listeners? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. As you all know, when sales at Henry's Home Furnishings dropped again last year, the executive board decided it was time to reevaluate our brand. Our research revealed that we were missing out on a large market young adults, who saw our products, especially our living room furniture, as out of date and unimaginative. So we're now launching an updated product line based on the latest trends called Urban Henry. Some of the furniture will even feature wireless charging for mobile devices. Now, before the official launch in May, I'd like you, our public relations team, to prepare a press release to send to the usual business news outlets. Number 86. What does the speaker's company mainly sell? Number 87. How has the company addressed a problem? Number 88. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do?
questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Tom Pollard from Human Resources calling for Wilma. We are so happy you'll be joining our team at Morristown Engineering. Could you come in next Monday morning for your orientation? After, you'll be able to meet some co-workers and have a tour of the facility. Just to warn you, getting to our office is a little tricky right now. The street we're on is closed to traffic because of construction. I recommend parking a couple of blocks away and walking. Also, I'd like to invite you to join me for lunch the day you come. That way you can ask any questions you might have. Anyway, give me a call back to confirm. Number 89. What is the main purpose of the message? Number 90. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 91. What does the speaker say the listener can do during lunch? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to compliment you all for your excellent work on the Peterson ad campaign. Their company has already seen a jump in sales from the advertisements we created. Next on the agenda, I want to let you know about a great professional development opportunity. We've decided to start offering reimbursement, covering tuition and other fees, for all employees who take classes at the local business school. And there are lots of great options to choose from. There's an interesting evening course called Creative Advertising, and it has earned many awards. If you have any questions, let me know. Number 92. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 93. What will the company do? Number 94. Why does the speaker say, It has earned many awards. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hello, I'm calling because I can't find my sunglasses. I think I may have left them in one of your theatres yesterday. The sunglasses should be in a blue case. The case could have fallen under the seat. Anyway, I was at the 4.30 showing of Long Distance Run and was sitting toward the back of the theatre with some friends. If the sunglasses are there, could you call me back to let me know? You can call me at any time. My number's 555-0129. Thanks. Number 95. Why is the speaker calling? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which theater was the speaker in yesterday? Number 97. What does the speaker request? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following instructions and map. Good morning. We're happy you've joined our team at BG Gardening Service. I'd like to tell you about some of the landscaping you'll be responsible for. Our gardening company maintains the outdoor areas at the Delville Shopping Complex, and you'll be doing your first job over there today. Look at this map of the shopping complex. In the lower left, where Elm Road and Main Street meet, there's a small building. You'll be responsible for the gardens around that building. I'll explain more at the site. Let's head over there now so I can show you in person. Number 98 who most likely are the listeners?
Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which building does the speaker talk about? Number 100. What will the listeners most likely do next? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to Part 5 in your test book. End of recording.